Hey guys, it's Carla here. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I have a quick little project that I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm sorry about the glare. I have a light sitting right here, and it's starting to get a little bit dark, so I wanted to get this video done and share with you these projects that I made. So these are two books that I created for uh, a, like prizes. Our office is having a family picnic, and we're having a cakewalk. So we're doing some with the kids, we got kid prizes, but we're also going to do a couple of rounds with adults. So I went ahead and made these. I thought these would be something fun that I could contribute to the adult prizes. So um, I wanted to share with you these that I made. So I'll scoot that one aside. So I created these um, using, I'm going to grab these little Dollar Tree micro little planner notebook things that they've had so they're a dollar and you get the four discs and it comes with you know cover two covers and then the bright colored paper on the inside so I wanted to make some homemade books so it takes two of these to create um, my format so I'll leave those right there so this was two of the books and these had the blue rings so I love this system what's great about this is you can come in here and move things around so these books can be photo albums journals planners whatever they want to use so I basically shopped my stash and um, this project works best when you have um, double-sided paper and you'll see why so again I just kind of shopped my stash this paper collection most of this in here is basic gray and I can't remember which one it might be hey girl I'm not sure I'm seeing it over there on the desk but basically I just mixed and matched so all the elements on here are basic gray with the exception of, of this butterfly and of course these papers and rosette that I made. So this is a border trim. It came just like this. I just cut it down um, to fit this. It already came embellished like that. So when I make these, um, I make my own um, cover. So this is double-sided paper that I just cut down and then I laminate it and then I use the punch. This is the punch that I use. This is the Happy Planner punch. They have a larger one. I think this is the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nine. They also have an 11 punch, but I got the, the nine a while back. Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I can't remember. Maybe Michaels with the coupon. So this was a little tag. This was actually a sticky. So I just covered it back. So it would just be a little dangle. Then there's the, the border strip. And then I made a rosette. This was already in the paper collection and I just backed it with a rosette that I cut down and used the pinking shears to like ruffle up the edges. Used the punch to make the little banner tags, an acrylic butterfly, and again this is a basic gray element and then a basic gray epoxy sticker. And that completed the front. So let's take a look inside. The beauty about these projects is that you can use a lot of your leftovers mix and match from other things and I've used a lot of project life cards because I have several kits and in those that have the project life card kits well no you get multiples this is a great way to use some of those up so I basically just used a bunch of them here and punched them with my um, punch and as you can see you could take them in and out that's why I love this format so that just a little card and then this is some of the inserts and I used a little clip to clip some of them together this is a notebook that I have a notepad so I just pulled out a few trimmed off the top punched the side so there's a couple of those another project life card this is I think is a bow bunny uh, page that I just punched and then this is a basic gray element uh, paper clip these are a notepad I just got these at the Dollar Tree let me reach for that real quick so this is what I do, is I just collect a bunch of these type of things. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's probably sitting over there. Um, but these were one like this, and I just pull out the pages and punch them. A couple of those. Another, this isn't Project Life. This might be, we are memory keepers. I basically just pulled out a bunch. So as you can see, just mixed and matched. Um, decorated the front of this with a basic gray epoxy, paper clipped a card there. And then inside, this is a basic gray, and that's just a uh, Project Life card, and just kind of mixed and matched. This, let me flip this back. I added a little tag on this card, 
Project Life card. You pretty much tell Project Life cards are typically rounded. Some of the others are not. Again, this is a little notepad that I've just pulled a few out, paper clipped them together. Check out this cute little file folder. Isn't that adorable? So tuck that in, had a random leftover tag in my little junk box that I keep and Project Life. So as you can see, I kind of color coordinated epoxy sticker. So I just kind of like create using things that I have. That's supposed to be like that. And just do a lot of little tuck-ins. Not a ton of embellishment because I want it to not be bulky. But I love all of these little Project Life cards. Another notepad that I just pulled some out of. Another Project Life card. Did a little bit of simple embellishment on this pocket and tucked in a bunch of cards. These are great little journaling spots. You know, so they could come in here and add pictures. They could, I mean, it's a multitude of things that you could do. And most of the pockets in the back, I, the back side, I did not. So let me share with you how I make this. So this, each of these, each book has six of these. This is just um, a double-sided piece of pattern paper scored on the six all the way down. Then on the opposite side, scored at the four and folded up to create an insert. Sometimes when I made this, I have glued the bottom and made a pull out. And you can tuck more stuff in there. I did not do that on these, but I have done that in the past. Now the Project Life card, and these are from several different um, collections. There's, like I said, a great way to mix and match your stuff. Another paper clip, some more tuck-ins, super cute. And again, this one is a little, um, a little fold over. They came like that. And then I love these. I love all the little prompts. Super cute. And again, several different, I think this is a recollections um, paper pad. And then some more, I have a little piece of acetate. This is part of the basic gray. So I just laid it in there. Again, some more prompt journal cards. I just pulled out, a, I have a whole jar of just paper clips. I think it turned out really cute. And then the last pocket just has several little journaling cards tucked in here. Super cute. I love these, they're double-sided. See, I've, some of them I did punch so you can go in and tuck them. Some I did, some I didn't. So that is the first album. Pretty cute. And then of course I put my name on the back. Super cute. Love that. I hope somebody enjoys that. Now the next one is my favorite. This is the one I made second. And this has got a more of a beachy theme. And it's got, I basically just shopped, again, my stash. Had a little beach charm, which is a cute little pink bikini. And decorated the front with some pink ruffle trim. Another rosette that I had made for my crafty weekend recently that I didn't use. It went perfect with this theme. Have several dies, punched out some leaves and tucked them in and added a little button, a flamingo. This was a sticker in one of the sticker packs I was using, backed it into some cardstock, and um, every summer has a story. So this, this one I geared a little bit more to maybe a memory book. So in that paper, pretty. So cute. Again, shopped my stash. Um, some of these were cut apart pages that I bought. Added a little basic gray tab. Again, just pulled out lots of cards. Now, some of these I did add some stickers to to embellish it a little bit more, like this one I added. There's some more of those inserts from the little micro books. The Project Life card. I did add some detail to that. Isn't this cute? So I did a lot of tuck-ins. There's a paper clip. So there's quite a few. These were a cut apart page from paper collections that I have. This was a leftover piece. When you fold it up, you have a little piece. So I just decorated it to make it look like a card. This was from the cover. So you can see this would be a 12 by 12 cut in half and that was left over. And then I have a bunch of paper clips that I made a while ago using stickers. So I added him and he cute. Love it. Put a little happy pineapple. Again, another cut apart page, another Project Life page. This 
this is actually, you know, when the paper comes, oh, let me grab it so I can show you guys. Hold on. I have some here. You know, the little strip when you designer paper comes with this little strip and you cut it off. I always use this. I've used this as banners in here, but then I use this and that's where that came from. So I just fishtailed it and glued it on. So don't forget about these little elements. So cute. Add a little sticker and some of these I did decorate with the sticker pack that came with this collection. This was, um, again, some of these are different paper collections. I think one of these might be Echo Park. Again, just pulled out um, lots of different cards, cut apart. This here, this is actually um, a party decor that comes on a garland at the Dollar Tree. I took it apart and I used that as a little tuck in. Super cute. And some more cute pages. I'll try to pick up the pace. A lot of fun cut aparts, Project Life cards. I added a little sticker there. Super cute, best day ever. Added a little trim. This this was one of these pieces. Cut it down, added a sticker. Had my little tuck-ins here. Super cute. Y'all see how much fun this is? They're fun to make. Fairly easy to make. Took me a couple hours each one. I think three or four hours each one. Basically, to pick out everything that I needed. There's another one of those um, wall decors that I tucked in. Another call. This is a cut apart page. More, just, you know, just, I kind of layer them up so you can see little bits and pieces of them. I added a little ice cream to that one. Another um, cut apart. Added a sticker on that folder. Tucked in a bunch of different cards. They can add pictures to these. Journal. Just super cute. Another cute paper clip. Some more cards, I added the sticker to this one. Isn't that cute? More cut aparts, another paper clip. This is another um, party decor with the garland. Just took it apart, tucked it in. It matches perfect with this collection. And some more cut apart pages and Project Life cards. I just love this. Again, great way to use up your leftovers. Makes great gifts. Another cut apart page, cut apart page, project life card that I added. Again, that's that piece right there. See, great way to reuse that. Another little sticker. I did decorate this here with a sticker. Some more project life card. Or oh, this is one of those little books that I folded over. So you can come in here and add pictures or journals. There's another one of those, added a sticker to it. Some more project life cards in here. And then there's the back of it. Super cute. This one's a little chunky. And I signed it. I love making these little books. They're so much fun. I hope. I wish I'd had time to make a couple of more. But it's been really, really busy. So guys, let me know what you think. Give this a try. Um, if you need more instructions, just let me know. I, I can um, let you know. Basically, um, it's just, you know six sheets of double-sided, double and then shop your stash for all your embellishments and your tuck-ins. Pretty easy. And of course, the um, discs from the dollar store. You can buy these singly, the dollar store. My dollar store never had them. Or you can buy, you know, the Happy Planner versions. Um, or you can do a spiral band or, you know, bind it a different way. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are all doing well. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.